Hi, Melon here from Sonic Bloom. This time I have eight things that were changed in the browser with Live 12.1. You're the judge if you find it an improvement or not. So let's dive right in. The first one is a full height browser. So with so many tags now, especially on smaller screen, you can see that the amount of presets, samples or whatever that you still have available if you want to see all the tags is really small quite quickly. So we could already make the browser full height before by just dragging it down here, but that meant that the device or clip view was hidden as well. So there's now an another option. So we can just click up here in the top left, click full height browser in the context menu. And it's also available through the view menu. And then here we can untick this as well. Both ways work to hide the full height browser again. Number two is auto tagging. And that means that any samples under 60 seconds in length are automatically tagged. And so for example, here I'm in the user library right now in my samples folder. And when I click on edit here, and just select a sample, you can see that this is selected. And then I've got also some that are imported. And here you can see that others are tagged with loop. I mean, like the tagging is quite simple, but it does work. And if you don't like the auto tags, then you can turn them off here as well. You can also tag anything yourself. So for example, well, I could tag that as a one shot as well if I don't think that is actually a loop. And you can see that the differentiation between auto tags and self tag things are that the auto tags turn up in blue and everything else turns up in yellow. The same is the case for uh, VST3 plugins. So if there are tagged by the creator in a way in like subcategories and for that the categories were somewhat changed around then that turns up as well as tagged so let's have a look for example here so let's say if i just go, go on plugin and delay i have to turn up that i have you can also check distortion so that actually works that a lot of plugins turn up the way they're supposed to. And I haven't tagged any of them. So they were tagged by the maker of the plugin and that works as well now. Number three is reordering tags and tag groups, which is pretty cool. Before you couldn't actually reorder anything the only thing you could do is if you created your own tagging system, then you could basically use the naming to have a specific order, but that's not necessary anymore. So this reordering works for everything actually. So it's not just for the things that you've created yourself, but like for example, if I wanted to have this ordered in a specific manner, um, let's say alphabetically, then I could do this as well. So as you can see, that works. I could also do the same thing with tag groups. So if I want the sounds turning up at the top, that's possible. The same is possible. If I want, for example, let's see, like this is my instrument preset. So that's something I created myself. And I can also pop that up top. And if I go to sounds, for example, now this turns up at the top as well. And uh, if you don't want this anymore, then you can do a right or control click and click on reset tag order. Number four is tagging folders. That's something a lot of people have been asking for since the beta came out and people could test things and realize that 
their own stuff wasn't tagged, so they had to do that themselves. And then they had to select everything and tag that, and they couldn't tag folders. And this is what this is about. So let's go to something that basically it goes through for everything under library or places. So I could go to, say, this live project, and then I've got um, a lot of imported files. And um, let's go, okay, they're all one shots, right? So now, these are all tagged as one shot. And so I find this very useful because it actually can be quite annoying um, if you have to take everything separately. And so it could be useful if you haven't organized things into subfolders, you could do this and then you just have to tag a folder to assign them all to be like one shots or presets for M simulation or whatever else you've got that you want to tag. Number five, you can now more easily create sub tags in the Live 12 release notes it actually says that you can now create subtext but that was possible already i've covered that in another tutorial i did about like how i optimize my browser which you might find interesting to see how you can organize things more in depth because i'm not going to cover any of those things right now but like for example here the first thing you can notice with this is if you have their subtext you now have this arrow so if you can fold them in and out as well and it's clearly visible same as with the tag groups and if you want to create for example let's say we take m simulation and we want to add different subtags so here we can just add subtags with right or control clicking and then we could just call that, let's say we've got, we're going to divide it by like near mic or for like mic further away or something. So here you can, you can delete it with delete or command or control R. You can rename them any time as well. If you realize, uh, for example, other things are supposed to be put into this category and the name doesn't fit anymore, whatever. So. I always ask you if you want to delete it because, you know, if you have tagged anything with that already and you want to delete, delete it, all that work is gone. Now, something that already came out, I think it was Live 12.05 version, was that you could just basically reorder things in the library, uh, which can be really helpful if you didn't like that. For example, I've hidden the old tag because I don't personally like it. If you've made changes and you don't like it, you can undo this by right clicking or control clicking and then reset order to default and all, all the things I've done are gone again. But you can see that if you have any saved searches, if you're interested in that, you don't know what that is, it's in the linked video that I've already mentioned. They're now at the bottom and it doesn't apply to you know, the things that you've hidden. So only the order is changed. Number seven is they've changed the how you see the results of searches or filtering uh, with certain things under the old tag. I don't have that open. I'm just going to tell you. You will, won't have like devices, like for example, here under instruments. I'm just going to direct that up. Here you see that they're under instruments and under all you don't have these basically these sub folders uh, listed anymore it's just basically a list of things of the results of whatever you've searched for then the same goes for content and preset so if i, I don't think i have that open let's click on content if i click on preset now you see it just shows you presets not any folders under instruments anymore so that is a change whether you like that or not up to you for me personally i do not like that but uh, you might and on the drums if you go go to clips and drum clip you actually now get results um, under drums as well for the clips which i'm not a fan at all at the moment maybe that's going to change who knows and number eight, 
that's a bit of an extra but I think this is a really cool feature which I'm going to use a lot let me just close this here and we're going to stay on the drums and I'm just going to add a drum rack here with a double click uh, in the first MIDI track and I already have here the C1 now selected and I can just go on the sample I'm just going to select one shot and then say for example kick and I'll get kicks and I can just do a double click and now I can just add that to the selected drum pad which wasn't possible before and I think this is a really really cool addition a nice new workflow feature that is really helpful because before it would have added a simpler or whatever you had set to be added when you add something to a MIDI track that is a sample and it would have been basically a simpler with the sample inside which is not what you want if you're working with a drum rack and so I think this is a really nice new feature addition and also really great for beginners. Well that's it I do hope you found this useful if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have anything to add, please do leave me a comment, whether it's to say thank you or if you have an idea for a topic that you would like me to cover or anything else if you have something to add. Yep, that's it. Until next time. Bye.